Hello, my name is Bhushan. In my previous lecture, we have discussed how to implement a login application using Java Swings. So, in this lecture, let's implement the same login application using the Java FX. So, why Java FX? What is the problem with the Java Swings? Actually, the Java Swing is an outdated. People are using Java FX. So, it's time to learn Java FX. So, without wasting our time, let's flip to our NetBeans IDE. And already I have created a empty JavaFX application. There is a login application in JavaFX. So inside my source package, I have created two packages, frames and util. So inside the util, I have created a Java class called connection util. So in this connection util, I have written my JDBC connection code. Again, if you don't know about this code, please go ahead and watch my previous lectures. I have explained in detail about this code. Once I have done your uh, JBC connection code, create a control class in your frames that is fxml document controller. And uh, here we will uh, write our business logic and uh, create a fxml file and create one class. So here we will write our Java main method. So this is our main class. And in your uh, controller class, Let's write our business logic. First of all, I will create some variables. Private text field, which is from JavaFX.Sync control package, and I will give a name as text email. I'll create one more variable that is password field. Because in our login application, we will use text box and a password field. And the variable name is text password. So I will give annotation at fxml at fxml. And we will write one method public void login action so this will accept one parameter that is action event so inside this method we will write our business logic before that let's go to our scene builder and we will design our UI so for that let's double click on this fxml document fxml file so it will open up the scene builder <coughs> let's quickly drag and drop a text field and a password field onto the frame. Let's quickly change these label names. Email and password and login. Okay, now select the text box and go to the code option. Here I will choose the ID. So we have created a two variables that is text email and text password and I will annotate with that fxml. So I will choose text email and for the password i will choose text password all right now for the login button on action event i will choose the login action method so once i have done this go to your uh, controller class and inside the login action we will write our business logic so first of all let's uh, get the input values from the text box and the password field for that text email dot get text dot I will convert it to a two string same way we we'll do it for password now I will store these two in a variables string email string password all right let's quickly write a query before that I have already created a database in MySQL database that is inside the Swing app database and I have created an employee table and this employee table contains three columns that is ID, email and the password and I also inserted two records manually. Go back to our uh, admins ID. Let's write our query. String SQL select start from employee where email is equal to question mark and 
password is equal to question mark. And now, before that, let's create a constructor for the controller class because we need to initialize our JDBC connection code. So for that, after our variable section, let's create a constructor. Inside the constructor, I will call my JDBC connection code method. First of all, let's create a variable. So inside the constructor, connection is equal to connection Utility dot connect db so now we have initialized our connection class connection variable now inside the try catch block inside the try block i will prepare the statement by using a connection connection dot prepare statement will pass my sql query and it will return prepare statement now using this prepare statement I will set the string the first parameter I will pass email second parameter will pass password now let's execute this query and this will return a result set now we need to check the result set if the result set does not contain any records then we need to display an information message saying that please enter a correct username or email and a password else we need to display an information message saying that logging successful so for that let's write a common method for our dialog box so public static void info box and it will pass it will take a three parameters that is string string information message and string error text and string and one more is title inside this method we will create an alert object alert alert new alert for this alert constructor i will pass alert type and what type of alert type we need we need confirmation alert type i choose alert type confirmation using this alert i will set the context content type which is our information message and alert dot set title the set title will pass title alert dot set header text for the header text i will pass header text and uh, alert dot show and wait so i will import this alert type all right now we have written our common method for the dialog box so inside this true block i will call the dialog box method this info box and i will pass the first parameter i will pass the information that is please enter correct email and password the second parameter will pass the header text so i will pass the header text as null and the par third parameter i will pass the title the title i will say failed so in the else block i will call the same method and the first parameter i will pass login successful and the second parameter i will pass none and the third parameter i will pass success all right so far so good okay let's declare or let's create a stage object stage um, dialog stage is equal to new stage and let's create a scene 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 reference variable okay now inside the false block after the alert box method using this event we need to get this 
source and this will return a node and I will I cast it to a node using this node I will get the C and using this get C will get the current window and I will store it in a dialog stage and I will type cast it to a stage all right now using this dialog stage will close the current window all right now once we close the current window we need to open another window so for that let's create a one more fxml file so inside our uh, login application uh, fx inside the frame package go to new and choose empty fxml and i will choose fxml menu and click finish all right now go back to our fxml controller class and here i'll create a new scene inside the constructor i will load the fxml loader load so inside this load method i will get the class dot get resource i will pass the, the newly created xml file that is fxml menu and i will store it in a c using a dialog stage i will set the c for this i will pass a c and dialog stage dot show all right now save your project and run the application there you go now I will write a wrong email and a wrong password and click login. I will get an error message. Error message. Please enter correct email and password. Click OK. And uh, let's type a correct email. Boshan at gmail.com. Password 12345. And I click login. Login successful. When I click OK, it will close the current window and we display a, a, another window. That's all about this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.